seedling heat mats can make a difference in how well your seeds germinate and seedlings grow. And there's a number of reasons for that. Join me today as I share with you seven benefits of using seedling heat mats. Hi, I'm Gardener Scott, and like most gardeners, I haven't always used heat mats. In fact, I actually gardened for a number of years, starting my seeds indoors without even really being aware that they were something that I needed. And I did learn that I needed heat mats. Up till then, I just took a seed and put it in a pot and expected everything to work out. But particularly with my peppers and tomatoes, I noticed I wasn't getting good germination and the seedlings just didn't do as well as I had hoped. That's where heat mats come in. I realized that some of the plants that I was growing, like the peppers and tomatoes and eggplants, those summer plants that really like a lot of heat, well, they also need heat during the germination process. And that's the first benefit of heat mats. They provide the warm germinating environment for those plants that can really benefit from increased heat. Now, from the beginning, I've been growing in trays like this. And depending on what I'm growing, I've modified the, the flats that I'm using. All of these underneath the lights are this type of system. And particularly with the peppers and the tomatoes and the eggplants and those that required heat, I recognized that without the heat mat, I had inconsistent germination. Some over here might germinate before those over here. Maybe the ones in the middle might be the last. But once you put your tray on a heat mat, and coincidentally, they match in size, you get uniform distribution of that heat. And that's the second benefit. Using a heat mat, now I'm getting the same level of heat in this entire container. And all of those cells are getting the same heat. So now we're getting much more consistent germination. And you can see that with this tray of tomatoes that I started last week from front to back and side to side. All of these seedlings are about the same size. I like it when all of my plants are growing at about the same rate because I'll be able to pot up all of these tomatoes at the same time and then free up this light for other plants that might need it. Now, the next benefit for using a heat mat is all about the soil. We really want the soil temperature to be warm when we're germinating our seeds. It's not so important what the air temperature is. And as that seed germinates and those roots begin to grow, having the heat come from the bottom is more advantageous. Not only will the heat be distributed evenly, but because it's starting at the bottom and then rising up through the soil, it really helps ensure that that entire soil mass that the seed is germinating in is the right temperature. If you try to heat from above, not only is it less efficient because heat rises, but you can't be assured that the roots are going to be growing in heated soil. The surface might be the only part that's heated. So the bottom heat for the germination really can make a big difference. Taking a look at the thermometer of how warm this room is, I see that it's actually pretty cool. It's 63 degrees Fahrenheit in my grow room right now. And that leads us to the next benefit of a heat mat. You can germinate seeds in cool, even cold environments. Because remember, it's all about the soil heat and the heat mat is warming the soil. That's what the seed needs to germinate. Once the seedling is growing, we get into a whole nother realm of gardening. And you might be able to start your seeds in a cold room with a heat mat 
And then after they're growing, move them to a greenhouse or outside or to a windowsill. But the environment for starting the seeds gives you a lot of flexibility with the heat mat doing all of the work and the air temperature and your furnace is not doing as much work. I did a little experiment for this video to show you the next benefit. These are both black creme tomatoes that were started on the same day. But as you may notice, there's nothing growing in this cup and I already have seedlings in this one. The difference is that this cup where we don't have anything growing yet was not put on a heat mat. It's trying to grow in 63 degree air. These seedlings that have already emerged and are actively growing were placed on a heat mat. So the benefit that I'm talking about is faster germination. You can see it right here, and I've seen it for years and years. By using a heat mat, your seedlings will start growing faster because those seeds germinate quicker. And if you are pressed for time, it might only be a couple days, but a couple days can matter, especially if you're limited by space and lights. And I think the faster germination really makes a difference. The next benefit really helps when growing underneath a humidity dome like this where I'm germinating these pepper seeds of course using a heat mat. A nice humid environment like for those peppers is ideal for germinating the seeds and getting those seedlings to grow. It's also ideal for fungal growth and fungal diseases particularly damping off disease can kill those seedlings before they get established well that's where the heat mat comes in again the heat mat is not only improving the germination and allowing the seeds to germinate at a faster rate but they're allowing for those plants to get bigger faster and it's those small seedlings that are most affected by damping off disease. As soon as my seedlings start growing to that point that it's noticeable that the germination is successful, I take off the humidity dome. And that's the second way that these heat mats can help prevent those fungal diseases. That increased soil heat means that the water in that soil is going to evaporate faster. The soil surface will dry out if you leave those seedlings on the heat mat. And so do that for a couple days. Allow that soil surface to dry and you can greatly reduce those fungal diseases like damping off. You don't want to leave them on for too long because that quick growth can lead to leggy seedlings. But for those first couple critical days when the fungal diseases are most likely to hit, a heat mat can make a big difference. I've been using my Spider Farmer heat mat a lot so far this seed starting season. A big reason why I enjoy this is really all about this Spider Farmer thermostat. Now you can plug any heat mat into this thermostat. I like using both together, the Spider Farmer heat mat with the Spider Farmer thermostat, but that leads us to the next benefit. By using a thermostat on your heat mat, you can have a very precise temperature for your seeds to germinate. Now, for most of what we're growing in the vegetable garden, that isn't a big deal. But if you want to start some really special plants from seeds, you might learn that they require very specific temperatures to have the best germination. I discovered that this year with my super hot chili peppers. I increased the heat level from what I normally do and had amazing germination rates, better than I anticipated. I don't think I would have had the same success without a thermostatically controlled heat mat. Now, not all of us are growing those specialty plants, but having the thermostat option really does give you a benefit when you're looking for those specific temperatures. 
A heat mat with a thermostat can also be used in another way you might not even be aware of. And so here's a bonus benefit to heat mats. And I learned this last year when I was growing sweet potatoes. Sweet potatoes require a curing time. And during that process, they should be stored at 85 degrees Fahrenheit. Well, it's difficult for me to provide that kind of environment. It doesn't occur naturally, so I need to create it artificially. And that's where the thermostat comes in. Using a heat mat, you can set up an environment to do things like cure your sweet potatoes or any of those other plants that you want to cure at the end of the season. Having the thermostat with your heat mat can give you that option. The regular heat mats without the thermostat can't get the temperature you're looking for. So for the future with my sweet potatoes, the heat mat are going to be doing double duty at the beginning of the season, starting the seeds, and at the end of the season with the curing of the harvest. If you want to know more about starting seeds and answering some of those questions you might have, watch one of these videos next. I'm Gardener Scott. Enjoy gardening. Mm -hmm.